Hey, this is James. Uh, this week I'm going to show a little bit more about the railing. So following on from last week's kind of overall video. So I've just got a default uh, international template here. So like last week, I'm just going to draw a short, uh, short railing. And then let's have a look at this in 3D. Okay, so let's have a look at the uh, balustrades for this one in a little bit more detail. So I'm just going to select it, open up the settings dialog, and under the segment, under balusters, uh, let's have a look at the settings here uh, a little bit further. So here I've got one set of balusters, uh, and here under the baluster settings, we have a setting to say um, basically the spacing. So like the segment that I showed last week, uh, this is actually dependent on how the pattern is actually being distributed. Um, so for example, if I just put 50 here and go OK, then you actually won't notice any difference. And this is because the pattern is being distributed um, with a maximum of 100. So this is not being used in this case. If I set this to be a fixed length, then here I can see it's 50 because the value here is 50. So now if I click OK, then there'll be twice as many. So I'll open this again. And if we then go to the first option, then here we can divide this into how many segments. And this value again is not being used. So if I say three, then here in the preview, I can see it's divided into three segments and OK. So now we have two balusters in three segments. Okay, and I can see here this value currently is not being used. So let's have a look at uh, adding a second set of balusters. So what we can do in this preview, so we don't just, we can uh, uh, add multiple. So here I've just got one set of balusters. So if I go plus and then click say between, then now I've got two sets. So when I, select, uh, when I select them, this first baluster pattern settings is for all of the balusters within here, and the actual setting for each of the baluster type is set under, say, the baluster settings and below. So let's have a look at this in a little bit more detail. So the first one, so here we can see it's 50, and then the next one is set to 27. So this is actually 27, and you'll notice that the icon here has changed a little bit. So I'm just going to switch between, so you can see the icon. This is from the uh, post, or the beginning of the pattern, and this one is from the previous baluster. So these two figures will actually add up and create our uh, baluster pattern. So let's have a look. That one's 50, and let's say this one is 25. And what I'm going to do for now is just use the fixed pattern length. And to make this a little bit more obvious, I'm just going to go into my baluster component settings, change this to, say, square, and I'm going to try to choose a, a contrasting uh, color. So what I might do is, uh, let's say a timber. I know it says floor, but let's just choose a timber just so it looks a little bit different. And let's just choose OK. Okay, so if we zoom into this, then we can see that uh, the first one has a gap of, say, 50, then 25, then it'd be 50, 25, 50, etc. So let's look at this uh, and how this pattern actually gets uh, arranged. So if we choose then the divide the segment into divisions, so again, we'll use the three and we'll go OK then you'll notice that the gap is not as I said it before. So it's no longer 50 and 25. So I'm just going to go into my baluster settings. So here, this one is at 25 from the previous one, and the first one is at 50 from the beginning of the pattern. So what this is actually doing is actually using these figures, 50 and 25, as a ratio. So it's, it's uh, basically the first one will be half, and then so it will be like one, uh, one pattern or one spacing, then two spacing, one spacing, because 25 is half of the uh, 50. 
So this becomes a ratio. So if I increase this to say 50, so these two are the same, and click OK, then you'll notice that the spacing here is the same for both of the baluster types. So let's uh, then say reduce this down to just two uh, divisions and OK. And so now you can see they're all equally distributed. Because the number here from the previous baluster and this baluster is uh, the same, then they're going to have the same ratio. So this will also uh, take into consideration the distribution, so the 100. So I'm going to increase this, say, to 50 as a maximum sort of length and go OK. Then you can see that it's the same ratio between all of the uh, balusters, or the two sets of balusters. So this is just worth keeping in mind, the relationship between the distribution and the spacing here. So if I change this one back to 25, like we had before, so from the previous baluster set, and go OK, then you can see the distribution. So this is sort of one unit, and this is two units, because it's uh, set to 25 versus 50. OK, so if we then switch to the uh, fixed pattern length, then you'll see that the value here is the 50 plus 25. So this will be exactly the dimensions as we've placed uh, in this value here. So for the two sets. So that's 50 and then the other one is 25. So if I click OK, then this is exactly 50, then 25, 50, 25. So let's switch them to be the same. So I'm going to add, change this to 50 as well. So you'll notice that the pattern length is now 100 here, and click OK. So just like a curtain wall and the segment, we can if, if it's set to a fixed pattern length, we can choose whether the pattern starts uh, at the post or from the center or the pattern is centered at the center or from the other end. Uh, so these can be useful in case you have multiple uh, segments. This only relates to the fixed pattern length. So hopefully this was uh, gave a little bit of clarity uh, to this. Um, also, uh, I won't go through these, but I think these are fairly self-explanatory. So the offset, um, basically away from the uh, railing and then the offset from the uh, left left side of this sort of panel system and then the right side. So if I want a gap of say 100 on sort of either side and go OK, then, then this gap will be 100. So that can be quite useful. And then the uh, offsets from the top and bottom are here. And these can be relative to the rail uh, or the segment top the segment bottom here. So hopefully this was uh, useful and helps explain how these balusters work and that we can actually uh, add multiple sets of balusters that have different settings. So until next week, thanks.